Hey guys, what is up? It's Josh from Justin Guys. Welcome back to part number six of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. So let's quickly recap what we did last episode. Uh, uh, we did our defense against the dark arts class, as you can see on the B button top in the top right hand corner. We got the Expelliarmus spell, which basically allowed us to um, reflect and defend against spells. We then had to duel against Malfoy and we sort of cheesed it, but who cares? And now we're on our way to uh, Quidditch practice. Ooh. get caught in some duel without teachers around to protect you. What I say to that, mate? Hello, Harry. Let's go outside to the Quidditch Stadium. Do we have to? Mr. Potter. Let's get started. Wait. Right. Now for the examination, where a grade will be awarded depending on how well you complete the course. You must fly through as many rings as you can in a set time. I've created several new enchantments. Shit, we started the wrong one, haven't we? Some to move and others to shrink as you approach them. When you're ready, Mr. Potter, you may begin. Here we go, this feels a lot easier. Display, Mr. Potter. You receive the highest grade, a distinction. Well done. If you want to practice flying, Mr. Potter, come over here. You boy. And if that wasn't actually what we were supposed to do. We want Quidditch. Now I am definitely freaking confused. Okay, Quidditch Stadium. I'm 
looking forward to this, aren't you? Let's go in. Shut up. Listen up, you lot. We're going to make sure we win the Quidditch Cup this year, and the way we're going to do that is practice, practice, practice. First, a quick recap of what we learned last year. I'll start with the Seeker. Over here, Potter. Now watch carefully. That's good, Harry. Flying through each ring makes you go faster and increases the magical charge in your brim. faster, you'll see the magical charge in your broom has increased too. You can see this in the trail the broom is leaving in the air behind you. The magical charge in your broom is at maximum. You can now get that extra boost of speed. Your heart. Don't let it hit you or it will reduce the magical charge in your broom. The heart too. enough to the snitch. If you boost now, you'll have a chance of grabbing it. Time your grab at the snitch and you'll catch it. Good effort, Harry boy. Okay, you know the score. One opposing seeker, two bludgers, and two opposing beaters to contend with. All you have to do is catch the snitch. Yeah, yeah. Harry is a boss. That was perfect, Harry. You received the highest grade. A distinction. And because of that excellent performance, Harry, here's a brand new Nimbus 2000 to take with you. You'll be able to fly anywhere around the grounds, but try not to crash into too many of the towers. If you want to try your hand at Quidditch practice, Harry, just come over here. Oh, you hear you.
Okay, now that's got to be surely the end of the day. Or so I would like to think, anyway. Hello there, Hermione. What's the matter? Malfoy showed up while you were practicing in the Quidditch Stadium. He's been made seeker after his dad brought his way onto the team with a whole set of Nimbus 2001s. Hermione said something about it and he called her a filthy mudblood. A what? A mudblood? It's a really disgusting... Fucking Ron basically dropping magical racism in. <laughs> oh, she's to throw fun. <laughs> nice feelings, Ron. How the hell she lets you sleep with that? I will never know. thing to say. If it hadn't been for Hagrid showing up, I'd have cursed him. He's not worth the trouble, Ron. Well, I suppose you're right. Anyway, I'm tired and I'm off to bed. Let's go. Oh yeah, let's go to bed with her my urine. Oh, God, she knocked my microphone over. Because uh, if I'm correct, we will be able to end the day, yeah. Wunderbart. Gryffindor. Look at all them points. Sheet. Hufflepuff. Ravenclaw. Slytherin. What? Oh, I was gonna say. I'm pretty sure we are still in the lead though. In the leader, leader, leader. a good idea to go to the library and find a copy of Hogwarts a History. Why do you want it? <laughs> so we can find out about the legend of the Chamber of Secrets, of course. Hermione, it's like oh, four in the morning. I suppose you want me to sneak out to the library again. Could you? Oh, thanks, Harry. The only thing is, you'll need to get to the restricted section this time. Go down to the second floor and just pass the entrance to the library. There's a portrait that will let you in. The password is Bibliophile. Right. Second floor, past the library, portrait. Got it. Thanks, Harry. Uh, and watch out for the prefects. If bitch knows she owes me. So Hermione said that I had to go past the library to find the portrait to the restricted section. Huh? Right. Somewhere around here is a portrait. 
Alright, I'll try what I will do. I'm gonna change this camera. Now that actually feels a lot better. Now these Prevex are dumb AF. No one freaking serious black manages to get in in the next game. Okay, so into the restricted section. I also don't understand why these, like, food, health items, whatever you want to call them, don't give you more than, like, what I assume to be, like, a sixth. It possibly quite doesn't look like it benefits that much. I think Harry does for a blowjob nowadays. Crazy. <gasps> Shut up, Harry, you fucking feg. Come to the conclusion that this library's restricted section isn't because the books are bad, it's just because you die getting there. This is the real reason why kids don't want to, uh, that's right, this is the real reason why kids don't want to go and study. Oh. 
not talk high, it's a fucking book, you section all those items to get us back to full health. So we obviously need headwig for something. Look, I want to get headwig. What do we need to get headwig to do? Here you go. Is that a jump across? Okay, so we can't jump across that way. But we can wall sneak across. Okay, so straight ahead, just behind where my bottoms are, I can see a piece of tapestry. I guarantee I'll have to cut that down. Let's 
scooping on the beat. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Yeah, let's get these chests. Okay, so one of these dolls just went, but I'm not sure which one it is, so let's go back this way. If it's not one of these, I would assume it's that one down there. This moment, Harry put himself in a wheelchair. is about so be attacked by a bookcase you need to flip into it a lot of times in a row or recharge its energy I'm really not sure what I'm supposed to do. Like... How on earth do I get out of here? I'm really not sure what to do. Because, okay, right. So, right, we're being attacked. You have to flip and do it a lot of times in a row. When you finally... I don't get it. So what, I've just got to keep... That is quite peculiar.
How peculiar. So you guys seen me doing that last time. Get on the box. <sighs> Mate, talk about making a freaking pig's ear or something. Alright, so we dodge it. And now we jump. Zap it, jump, zap it, jump. How on earth do I get out of here? Zap, and jump, zap, and jump. Zap. Jump. Uh. Ow, you batch. Damn. Feels like a lot of hard work to open one freaking door. How on earth do I get out of here? Harry, I'm telling you how to get out of here. Right, 
change my spell. Defend out B. This episode has been going nearly 40 minutes. Time definitely does fly when you're in Hogwarts having fun. Please be health. I actually want it to be health once. Yeah, yeah. I need to put my sorry arms back on then. Teabag him. Teabag! Oh yeah. <laughs> Take the sack. Freaking Guile. I assume it was Guile. I think Guile was like, the quite chewy one, isn't it? Come on, give me it. Give me a freaking break. Climb up. Uh. Right now we can get that heel out of here. Uh. Oh. So, one thing I've noticed compared to the first one, this game is definitely like a lot better. Like, 100% like. The amount of different spells we've got. I mean, obviously the graphics, uh, the voice is also, I think, uh, quite a big improvement. You know, evidently, I suppose, really, in a way, this is like, almost like a next sort of generation. If you, if you want to put it like that, I suppose. Alright, let's go give this book to Hodamoyoni.
portal bird. Alright, so we're gonna go give this book to Hermione. to get Hogwarts a history, but it wasn't easy. Slytherin ambushed me. Crikey! Can I have a look at the book, Harry? Here you go. It was one person from Slytherin. I'll read the passage out. Hogwarts was founded over a thousand years ago by the four greatest witches and wizards of the age. Godric Gryffindor, Helga Hufflepuff, Rowena Ravenclaw, and Salazar Slytherin. For a while, the four founders worked in harmony together, seeking out youngsters with magical abilities and bringing them to the castle to be educated. But a rift began to grow between Slytherin and the others. Slytherin believed that magical learning should be restricted to all magic families and that no students of non-magical parentage should be admitted. Eventually, a serious argument on the subject caused Slytherin to leave the school. He built a secret chamber in the castle of which the other founders knew nothing. According to the legend, Slytherin sealed this chamber of secrets so that no one would be able to open it until his own true heir arrived at the school. The heir alone would be able to unseal the chamber, unleash the horror within, and use it to purge the school of all who were unworthy to study magic. Blimey! I always knew Salazar Slytherin was a twisted old loony, but I never knew he'd started all this pure blood mudblood stuff. It sounds to me like the horror within mentioned in the book is a monster that only the heir of Slytherin can control. But what kind of monster? The kind of monster that can petrify a ghost? All this talk of monsters has given me the creeps. I'm off to bed. <laughs> yeah, later on. Surely no, there should be a uh, a save station. Oh no, no, we have to end the day, don't we? Yeah. See what the points stand at. Gryffindor. Hufflepuff. Ravenclaw. I don't understand how are they getting point at night? Sure, that is not correct. We're gonna head to the save station on the slump. We're gonna end the video more than likely. Let's quickly see if Marnie has anything to say. Morning, Ron. It's Transfiguration first thing, isn't it? Yeah, first floor. I'll meet you there. Or we could just go together. That Ron is such a dumb, isn't he? Shut up. And did you really order that snake to attack your classmates? Shut up. None of it's true. And I didn't order the snake to attack my classmates. I told it to leave them alone. I'll believe you, Harry. Though thousands wouldn't. Shut up. <laughs> How rude. But yeah, so anyway guys, I'm going to end this video here. If you have enjoyed, please do leave a like. If you've got any tips or advice for me, leave a comment down below. If you're new around here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Until next time guys, we'll see you then. Peace!